Good morning, everyone, and uh, good to see you all back. So I would say, yesterday too much talking. Right now, let's directly start with some training. Okay. Take a step back, make yourself some space, and then, as you know, quickest way, especially in the morning, let's start small jumping. First, feet, bring them together, bring the awareness back to yourself, hands in front of the chest, and surely bow. Inhale, elbows lift up, release, step out, and then from here you can just start, yeah, just shake the body, shake the body, let's go. 108 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now off the floor, thirty six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, and now legs out, and 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Joint opening starting with the fingers. Thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, small. Close. Thirty six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Shake off the arms and then wrist inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and other direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six. After the wrist, elbow rotate inwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, other direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six. After the elbow joints, we move up to the shoulder. So let the arms hang and then yeah, rotate the shoulder the shoulder blades, the back, use it all and rotate backwards, open the chest, small, open the chest, small, yeah, but concentrate on the joints, on the shoulder joints, so you start, yeah, again, 36 times, and we are moving, we are lubricating our joints, starts to make them fluent again. So one, two, three, four, five, 
सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन एंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन एंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स ओके नाउ वी आर ऑलरेडी एट द स्पाइन सो लेट्स स्लोली स्टार्ट मूव द स्पाइन लेफ्ट right back leg support the movement eyes go first body follows now stay inside of yourself feel your skeleton feel your spine and we go 18 1 2 3 just swing the arms always alternate yeah right top left on top right on top left on top yeah yeah it lightly touch so not too soft it's like wake up the body give yourself a clap Yeah, bring the blood into the palms and also bring the blood to the places where you are hitting yourself you don't you do not need to go super hard but also not super soft so feel the palms on the body feel your palms on the body and 36 more times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, very good. Now spine bending to the front. 
So, arms hang loose. Chin tuck in and just start bending down. Remember, it's not about going low, it's about curving the back side of the spine and making it as round and open as you can. Just hang for a moment. Yeah, no need to watch me at the moment. Just hang for yourself. Stay. If there's something new coming, I'm going to tell you. But just concentrate on yourself. So go down. Don't look at me. Yeah, chin, no. Chin down. Stay down. Yeah, stay down. Stay with yourself. Don't look at the screen at the moment. Stay down. Now cross the fingers and place them on the top of your head. So you have some additional weight pulling down uh, or resting on the back side of the head. Now use this weight. Use this weight of your arms and Use also the breathing right now to release the tension that you can feel on your back. So, feel the tension, feel what is blocked, feel that spot that is a little bit uh, maybe painful. Inhale into that spot. Exhale and release more tension. With the exhalation, we release more. With the inhalation, you make it very clear which spot is it that you want to release there. Where is the hard part? Where is the burning part? Where is the muscle that is not open yet? Inhale to that same spot again. Exhale and release from that place. And eight more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, yeah. inhale. Very important, tuck the chin in so that the back side of your neck is getting longer. Exhale. And four more times. Inhale. And remember, exhale and release the tension from the long side of the neck throughout the complete back of the body. And three more times, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. And one more time, breathe in, and when you breathe out, also let the arms hang down again, breathe out and release, so now before you stand up, very important,
try to stand up, but starting with the lowest joints. So with your mind, with the mind, go into your ankles. This is where your movement starts. You go from the ankles, then the mind, go to your knees. From the knees, you go to the hip. From the hip, you move a little bit more up and you are at the lower spine. Lower spine, move slowly up. Yeah. Middle area of the spine, a little bit more up than you're between the shoulder blades. A little bit more up, you are at the neck. A little bit more up and now you're almost completely uh, back up and straight again good so for example this last um, this last instruction that I gave you to start the movement for example down at the feet actually this is quite uh, important to also know these things for, for, for your practice. In the Shaolin Temple or in the practice of the martial arts, actually there is, for example, the so-called the three-section teaching. The three-section teaching, what is it teaching us? What is it supposed to teach us? So the three-section teaching is like this. Our body can be separated or can be regarded in three different areas. The first area is you have the arm section. You have the arm section. The second one is the upper torso. Yeah? Second session. Uh, section. Yeah? And the fourth one is everything below until the legs. So one section, the second section, and the third section. So already our body, we can uh, we can separate in three areas. But then, those three areas, once again, we can separate each of these areas again in three more. Because the arm section, we have the wrist, we have the elbow, and we have the shoulder joint. The leg, we have the hip, we have the knee, and we have the ankle. Again, one, two, three. Yeah? And the upper body, I don't go too deep into it, but it's heart, mind, and energy. So, what's the point of all of this? The point is that, at the same time, these three areas, they are sometimes also standing for, you always have a root, you have a stem, and then you have the crown on a tree. And there is a very, very clear chronology of where does energy start from. You, you cannot have the crown and the fruits of a tree if you have, do not have the roots uh, before that. And so this makes sense why some movements, it's very important, where are you starting this movement? Yeah? So that means if you want to move the, the, the wrist or if you want to bring the fist to the front, where is the beginning of the movement? Where is the beginning? So, and therefore we have such practices that when you are rolling yourself up, it must start from the ground. Yeah, because in this last posture, when you are down and bending down like this, yeah, it's like you are, uh, uh, let's imagine you're a tree. Yeah, you're a tree who didn't have enough water yet. So now finally you get your new water. So, but that means you must start to roll up from down up. So, we take this exercise now and make it a little bit more dynamic. So, let me show you how we practice this one. From here. Now again, bend down. The knees this time you can slightly bend if you like. Yeah, the important part is that you practice from here. Head is hanging. From down. Up. 
den Hängenden vom Daun ab. Daun ab. Hängen. Ab. Ja, so. Roll yourself up. Roll yourself up. Yeah, it is like a small wave. It's like a wave which is traveling from the feet upwards and therefore making you stand up. Let's go together 18 times, not too fast. Okay, so bend down. And one. And down again. Okay, I give you the separate stations. Okay, foot, ankle, knee, hip, lower spine, middle spine, between the shoulder blades, neck, head. And down. Feet. Ankle. Knee. Thigh. Hip. Lower back. Middle. Between the shoulder blades. Neck. Head. And down. Feet. Ankle, chin, knee, thigh, hip, lower spine, middle spine, between the shoulder blades, neck and head. And down again. Feet, ankle, knee, thigh, hip. Lower spine, middle spine, between the shoulder blades, neck, head. Uh, three more times. Put down. So, feet, knee, thighs, hip, lower spine, center spine, shoulder blades, neck, head. And two more times, go down. So, feet, ankles, shin bone, knee, thighs, hip, lower back, middle back, between the shoulder blades, neck and head. And one more time, go down. And last time, feet, ankle, knee, thighs, hip, lower back, middle back, between the shoulder blades, neck and head. Okay. Very good. So now this is the basic movement and now we use it for example when you make this next movement that I already actually did in the six day morning practice and afterwards too. You see it but this time you understand from where this movement comes from. Just look which movement I'm talking about. It's here. This is your loose and then from here you bring it up until the fingers hang up until the fingers hang yeah from down move up boom. and down yeah one so that means this time it's the the body makes the same movement but this wave yeah right now let's say i was guiding you through this wave but your aim is when you start to feel this wave, it becomes very obvious. What is it that you need to bring into the 
fingertips. And this is why in this movement from down it moves up, bum, round, dum, until the fingers, until the finger, until the finger, yeah? So, okay, let's make this movement together 18 times. Yeah. Start slowly, but remember from down up wave, boom, and the wave ends at the fingertips. So therefore, at the end of the movement, straighten the finger, straight, straighten the finger. Okay? Let's go together. Hang, body hang, and one, and exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, exhale, four, Exhale. Five. Exhale. Six. Exhale. Seven. Exhale. Eight. Exhale. Nine. Exhale. Ten. Exhale. Eleven. Exhale. Twelve. Exhale. Thirteen. Exhale. Fourteen. Exhale. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 18. So good. So this movement I use very often also to very quickly fill up and spread activity, spread energy uh, throughout my body. Now there is a saying. The saying is, energy follows attention. This is what, it, what uh, the teaching is about. Energy follows attention. Every time you are placing your attention, it doesn't matter where you place your attention. Wherever is your attention, there is energy. If you can feel it or not, I think it's, uh, it's irrelevant. Yeah, but... That's just the way how, uh, how it is. So just as a simple example, how can you understand this, not just in the field of the physical practice or the martial art, but what does it mean? Where your attention is, there is the power. Yeah? It means, for example, how does the person, how do we humans normally spend our attention? It is where you put your mind onto. So imagine if you are right now, wherever you are standing, you just watch down and you see either you see a carpet or you see the floor or you see the grass. Doesn't matter what you see, but the fact of that you are watching down there and you are perceiving something and that you are seeing something already means that, some, that your lifetime at the moment is going there. So if you spend the whole day watching at the floor, 
I hope for you that watching at the floor gives you some type of pleasure. Because elsewise, the question would be, why would you spend so much time looking at the floor? Yeah. So at the same time, yeah, it was maybe now not the best example. <laughs> but at the same time, it means it makes sense to really pay attention. Where do I spend my time on? Where do I spend my mental energy on? Where do I spend my thoughts on? Because this is what makes the quality of your life. This is where you are actually spending your time on. So, and now energy follows attention. That also means if you do not spend time with your family, then it also means there is no energy going to your family, which means there is not going to be um, a bond created between the family and yourself. Yeah? If you have a partner but you don't spend time with your partner, well that simply means there is no energy going into the partnership, therefore nothing is being created in this partnership. So very easy, you don't spend time with your partner, one day you don't have a partner anymore. Very simple. Right now you have children, you don't spend awareness, you don't spend attention with your children. One day they maybe don't know anymore, they are your children. Other people, they spend time maybe uh, cleaning their car every day. No, not every day, every week. So they spend their time paying attention to their car, whatever they are doing. But it gives them pleasure, so it's okay if they are making it like this. So it's important where you place your attention, this is where energy goes. Wherever energy goes, something is being created. Where no energy goes, there is no creation, there is nothing. So, and in this exercise right now, what does this all have to do now with the exercise we just did before? Well, the places, the locations of our attention, the location of our mind was we start at the feet, then come the ankle, then come the, the shin bones, then come the knee, then come the thigh, then come the hip, then come the lower back, center back, upper back, neck, head. So with the mind, we are going from the lower body up, all the way up. So that means your attention is traveling from down upwards. So, and now if you would follow up on this teaching, energy follows attention. Because your attention was moving from down slowly upwards, this is why then, if this teaching is true, the energy also travels from down slowly upwards. So, and this is what we want. This is what I want to have in this exercise. I want that, boom, that my body starts to fill up. So. Now, again, too much talking, therefore, this exercise, 18 times again, don't watch too much to me now, 18 times. Pay attention to the chronology of the locations where your awareness is. So even if you make this movement a little bit faster or according to your abilities, but still, do not over jump any stations. You must start from the feet, bring that wave up until it ends in the fingertips. And then it starts again. So let's go together 18 times and especially at the end, the fingers really straight. Don't let them bend, yeah? Bring them really up. Okay, again, now let me turn like this. And now one time slow, feet, ankle, shin bones, knee, thigh, hip, lower back, middle back, shoulder blades, neck, shoulder, elbows, yeah, lower arms, fingers. 
and down. Feet, ankle, uh, shin, shin bone, knee, thigh, hip, lower back, center back, shoulder blade, shoulder, upper arms, elbows, underarms, fingers. Down and now just go up and concentrate. One inhale. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, a little bit faster, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, good, that was all now for uh, to, to wake up the body, let's open the chest. Open the chest. What do I mean by open the chest? Align your skeleton, align the muscles, align everything you have control over in such a way that your lungs have the least pressure from the rib cage, from the organs around it, that your lung volume, that your lungs are able to take in the air as much as it can and as easy as it as it can yeah if from the inside your your bones are pushing against the lungs and you try to inhale um, there's too much friction it can be easier so that's what i mean by open the chest so figure out for yourself so try out so how do i need to how do i need to take back my shoulders how do I need to raise the chest? How much do I need to push out my solar plexus in order that you have the feeling for yourself that ah, that feels good, that feels really good because finally I got some oxygen in there. So this is what I mean by open the chest. And the only way to find out what is the proper way is by you need to try so very easy we inhale and while we inhale just use the arms and open here the chest during the inhalation then exhale inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, in, out, in, In, out. 
Inhale quality air. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Two more times. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale. Inhale, open. And exhale. Good. Now, together with this type of breathing, the way how we just did it right now, now we can integrate just some simple movements that we want to strengthen. So, because also you see that that movement to, with that wave that goes through the body, it starts at the feet. So therefore, very important that the ankles, the feet, that they are stable. Yeah, because if the ankles are, are weak, if the muscles and tendons around your ankles are weak, then the, your whole body, your daily walking, your daily standing, everything that you do with the body um, uh, will, have, will be handicapped if you have problems with the ankles. And also something maybe you have not realized, but yeah, once you are pushing yourself up on the toes, yeah, everybody can do this. Just if you push yourself up on the toes from here, and you push yourself up. Yeah. Just ask yourself, where actually does all this power come from to pull up these 60, 70, 80, 90 kilograms? Because down there, what do you have there out on the ankle? There's not much. But there is something which is very, very, very strong. It's not the muscles that are making us strong. It is the tendons. It is the flexibility and it's, it's the flexibility of the tendons and the quality of the tendons. And therefore, as an exercise, together with the breathing we just did before, yeah, we are doing right now like this. When you inhale, when we inhale and open the chest, we push ourselves up. And when we are exhaling, Go down, yeah? For right now, it's not quite a marbu, but the purpose is stay with the feet, with the heel up. So I inhale. Yeah, heels are up. When I exhale, the heels are still up. Then inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. 
inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And three more times. In. Inhale. Open the chest. Push yourself up. In, 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 in. Hold a little bit the tension when you're up. And exhale and squat a little bit down. So. And then inhale again stand up push yourself up and exhale two more times in and out In and out. And stand up. So for example, in this exercise, it's very obvious also that the, your ability of regulating the breath also means you're able to regulate the, the power that you need. So dependent on how you are using the breath, this exercise can become either very, very difficult or also you can feel that Ah, okay, actually, using the breath as a support even makes this exercise be more easy because the breath, the body, and the mind, you try to bring them all together. So, and now, yesterday we started, we still have a few minutes to go, and the first movement, we're going to push up the palms again. Remember? During the inhalation, all the way up, push already, and exhalation, push more. But now, now listen before we start this. After the inhalation, when the exhalation starts, I'm telling you that you are supposed to push more. Okay. But where does the push come from? The, the push cannot come from you trying to, trying to contract more muscles. Because muscle contraction, muscle contraction means when the muscle contracts, then it, it pulls the body together. Muscle contraction is this. The muscles come together. The muscles come together. But when you're already here and are already pushing, and now you're supposed to push more, it cannot be that the muscles are contracting. Elsewise, your body and yourself would become shorter. So, it's not using the muscles in order to make your body become longer. In order for your body to become longer, in order for your body to become bigger and to open up, how we call it, you must learn to, uh, to isolate the muscles that are restricting the movement that are restricting this posture. 
So that means if I'm in this position right now here, yeah, I, I feel okay which muscles are active. And when I exhale, it's not the muscles that I'm pushing, it's not the muscles that I'm activating, it is yeah, I, I just say it right now for me, yeah, but there are more ways, but it is the skeleton. I am concentrating on my skeleton. I'm concentrating on my bones. So when I'm here and I have inhaled, when I exhale now, I concentrate on my bones. I forget about my muscles. I concentrate on my bones. <sighs> and push my bones away from my center. So the muscles, don't engage the muscles to push more. The muscles need to stay relaxed, the skeleton must separate. Yeah, the skeleton must separate. Okay, so let's just go together. From here, feet around shoulder wide. Inhale. Push, 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 push. Exhale. Push more. Arms sink down to the side. Yeah, I am not breathing at this moment. Here I start again. Inhale. Push, 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 exhale, release the muscles, push the skeleton. Release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and again, inhale. Exhale. And continue with this movement. Inhale. And when you exhale, the body needs to become longer, bigger. Exhale. Stretch, yeah, pull the back side of the body open. Yeah, release the arms. And again, inhale. Push, push, push. And with the exhalation, stretch the body even more. Exhale. Then release the arms. Inhale. And exhale. And two more times. Inhale, exhale, and sink to 
to side and one more final time inhale push 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 yeah exhale and push more and then arms to the side back to the center and bring the feet Good, so one hour morning practice over again. Very good that you all joined. And by the way, just to also, um, because I see some of those people I'm talking about right now, you are also online. Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes I really have a lot, a lot to do. I have a lot of things to do. So this is the reason why sometimes I just cannot answer to all the emails. But I read them all. So I normally read everything that you are sending me, but I cannot answer to all of them. And also when you are sending sometimes some presents from other countries, for example, it's very, very much appreciated. We love all the different types of, of treats and sweets and everything that's existing in this world. We love it here. Yeah? If it comes from Hawaii or if it comes from Canada, we love it. Yeah? It's really nice and I appreciate very much if you are sending all these small gifts to us. So therefore, I just wanted to thank you all, everybody who is supporting us, who is donating to us, who is giving us presents, who is sharing the word about us. Thank you all for doing this. And have a nice day until then. Hello everyone, so good afternoon from Germany and good morning to the United States. I would say let's directly get started afterwards today. We are going to have the possibility to answer some questions, but for right now let's just uh, get yourself some space and let's directly start. Feet, place them together. Bring your hands, bring the palms in front of the chest. And bow. Inhale, lift the elbows up. release left leg step out inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale now when we are inhaling also push up on the toes in and down on the heels inhale push up on the toes exhale down yeah inhale up on the toes exhale down 
inhale. Exhale. And one. Down. And two. Down. Keep the tension in the legs when you come up. Push, push, push the toes. Inhale. And release. Feet flat on the floor again. Inhale. Up. Exhale, down. And one. Down. Two. And down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, one more time, nine, then feet stay on the ground and just start, shake the body, fingers, arms, wrist, shoulder, everything loose. Yeah, feet are still touching the ground, they are lightly in front, on the front surface of the foot. Yeah, don't lift up yet, just start shaking. Yeah, pay attention, that chest area, shoulder, arms, elbows, the complete upper torso, everything. Shake off, let go of tension, try to detect the tension that you have, just continue shaking. Also pay attention to the fingers, continue shaking, I count until 36, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now off the ground, but still little jumps, but off the ground. Just thirty-six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten.
ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And now uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. Then now, slapping the body, slapping the body, yeah, always alternate. Six times and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we open open to the back side yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and jump again, small jumps off the ground, shake off the tension from the shoulders, from the arms. Yeah, easy. Then our shoulders, the shoulders rotate backwards. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, four, five, and six. Good. Now coming to the spine. Now coming to the spine. Arms relax. And here, back.
back to foot, yeah? One, two, three, four, five. Now continue, turn, continue, continue this movement. And remember while you are doing this movement, one foot always moves up on the heels. So you feel that there's not too much pressure on the knee. And at the same time, keep the spine straight. And then now the next area, really try to turn so much that you are entering into the elasticity of your body. So it's feeling elastic. It's like this turning is not much that you are doing because you're doing something actively. It's happening because you just give one impulse. And this impulse continuously starts to uh, starts to move. Okay. Yeah, continue and we go 36 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, good. Now, stands, stands. Let's go into a horse stance. Yeah, no need to go too low at the moment. So, mabu. Then, yeah. Now we are in both stance. Left gongbu. Left leg is bent, and right leg is straight. Then back to the center. Then left leg starts to push, right leg. Right leg now bend, left leg is straight. back to the center and move to the left side by pushing the right leg now stay in this position stay in this position remember right leg also watch your knees the knees push them straight your focus, your eyes don't look on the ground, look to the front, look over the palms or look over, uh, look to the front, yeah, not on the ground. Okay, return back to Mabu center. Yeah, so the training aspect for right now, stay, yeah, we are making this a few more times, try to remain, I will always count. In each position I will count until 9 and then we move again to the next position and if everything is too uh, too easy for you then you're simply standing too high okay but like I said yesterday do not sacrifice your posture by bending to the front yeah stay in the marble Yeah, I count until 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then left side, gongbu. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left leg. Push straight. Move right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the center. And eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left side. Go. Go. Stay. One, two, three. Yeah. Lower. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the center. Yeah, your butt. Pay a little bit attention to the butt. Turn it in. Yeah, turn the tailbone a little bit in so that the butt is not sticking out during the marble. Keep it in. Keep it in. Okay, 18. Last round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right side. Uh, push, gongbu. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to the center and up. Turn back to the center. Okay, shake off legs a moment. Okay, and jump. Now, one exercise that we did this morning. This morning it was about the chronology of where you are placing the attention of the mind. 
so if we want to raise up raise up our awareness raise up our attention and energy we start with the feet and bring it up to the fingers the movement i'm showing you and the ones from this morning you know already how to do it so let's go together and i guide you in the beginning so from here legs around shoulder wide let the body hang yeah. now one time i go slow so you start with the feet mind to the feet then ankle then over the shin bone to the knee side bone hip lower back center back yeah, between the shoulder blades shoulder elbow fingers and straight then down from here one and exhale and two and exhale three exhale four exhale five and exhale six exhale seven exhale now continue eight exhale and nine exhale and ten straighten the fingers exhale eleven exhale twelve and exhale thirteen exhale fourteen exhale and fifteen exhale sixteen seventeen eighteen add one more nineteen okay now yeah we are just moving our arms one hand is the palm the left palm in front of the right shoulder left palm is in front of the right shoulder right fist is here on the waist shoulder not up down okay so watch here then we are changing slow left arm goes back to the waist and right palm opens up uh, you can stay in the marbu a little bit more wide and then from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight okay relax a moment so for what can you use this exercise for so what what type of purpose can you give to this exercise one purpose which is going to be very beneficial is your ability to uh, determine the difference between when your body is soft and when your body is really tense and now if you imagine just that this push to the side yeah at the end when when it's arriving when it is arriving here and somebody would push you here then the arm if it's too soft it's going to collapse right so that's why when you are ending up in this position for a slight moment just imagine somebody would walk up to you while you are standing like this and would push here would push on the palm and then your complete body and your arm and your palm shouldn't move at all so that means you have some type of proper structure and also some type of energy investment in there or tension the necessary tension to keep this posture uh, stable but when you are moving when we are moving to the other side you don't want to keep too much tension in there because elsewise you cannot move so it's always the change between yeah this is stable relax stable relax stable relax stable relax stable relax stable inhale and push 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 so and this movement now we are combining while we are in the mabu so it's going to be a little bit more like a full body workout just using this one simple simple technique but again go into mabu if it's if it's too easy if it's not challenging for you you're standing too high left palm front of the right shoulder and then inhale relax and push relax inhale and push relax inhale push so and now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven 
and one more eight okay very good yeah relax a moment relax a moment so and also here when you are taking this exercise and are going to practice this for yourself then also pay attention yeah make the things precise precise meaning tell yourself that palm yeah right now when i'm completely straight to you this palm here don't shoot it outside the don't shoot it outside your your shoulder so really in front of the shoulder also not too much in so exactly be precise yeah be precise for yourself at the moment so that means that you are really able to control the body that he should stop exactly at that spot where you want the body to stop yeah this is just about it at the moment yeah so if you practice put yourself one uh, one location where the palm should stop and always practice to be on there now okay so let's continue with another movement it's the same principle like we did it right now but it is going to integrate a few more stances and also the movement becomes quite a little bit bigger and because the movement becomes bigger and the range becomes wider that's why it's also going to be a little bit more exhausting so let's watch what this exercise uh, how this exercise looks like and how you can then train it so starting point like usual the marble so from the marble then here right fist is up yeah left fist is over the okay open the palm also if you like uh, or no make it easy just keep both palms double uh, double fist double fist then from here I directly switch to the right side gongbu yeah I directly switch yeah right now just make it slow first now I'm in the left bow stance yeah. left knee is in the front and right palm is in the front okay let's make it very very easy it's only one fist which is in the front right now right fist out right fist is out left fist is here on the waist then we go back to marble and now left leg push left arm go out back to the center and right leg push back to the center left arm push back to the center right leg right arm push back to the center left push back to the center right push back to the center left push now continue back to the center and push okay don't go too fast yeah make this movement slow at the beginning and the leg which is straight is the extension of the fist which is facing to the front just get used to the movement first and especially pay attention to the quality of your stances so let's go together uh, 18 times slow together so we are in marble uh, then one center two center three center yeah? left leg left arm center 
right leg, right arm. Center. Left, left. Center. Right, right. 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 Center. And left, left. And center. And right, right. Okay, relax a moment. So one aspect about this exercise right now is just about the correct timing and also the correct uh, chronology of when you are doing what and that the leg is also synchronized with the fist. But right now I told you to do it slow first because um, things are not becoming fast because you want them to become fast. Things are going to become fast because you made the things so often that you are getting very, very comfortable in doing these exercises. So don't think too much about making it fast or making it hard. The hardness and the strength and the speed will come because you practice very often and make it slow already very very correct okay now let's go to some leg stretching both palms cross the fingers and from here push through the floor uh, if you cannot go so low, no problem. Just try as good as you can to go all the way down while keeping your legs straight. So do not bend the knees. I'm counting until 36. Concentrate on yourself. Keep the legs straight and extend the palm to the ground. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then let's do some Gongbu. This time from here, the back heel up, up, or stretch down, arms to the side, arms to the side, and really feel this tension line along the legs. Arms, keep them straight. Yeah, keep them straight. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then switch side. Now right leg to the front. Right knee is bent. Left heel again is up. Left heel is up. Push the arms straight. And go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to the center. Okay, hip, rotate the hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, good. Then from the last weekend practice two weeks ago, we were using one exercise, uh, which is the combination of this arm movement. Yeah, it's this arm movement in combination with the legs. And once again, let's start it slow together because now there are many, many aspects about yourself that we need to coordinate. It's balance, it is the power. Yeah, so let's go slowly from here. Left palm is out. This one, grab. Weight on the right leg and push then leg down shift the weight to the left leg right hand grab and up leg down shift the weight on the right leg and leg down shift the weight on the left leg arm out turn the wrist grab when the right arm pull back the left go to the front and the left knee go ah leg down Shift the weight, turn the wrist, grab, when the left arm pulls back, the left leg knee up, the right palm goes to the front, leg down, shift the weight, Turn the wrist, grab, push. Leg down, shift the weight, turn the wrist, grab, push. Leg down. Shift the weight, turn the wrist, grab, push, leg down, shift the weight, turn the wrist, grab, push. Let's try a little bit more fluent, still slow but fluent. So one, two, three, 
three. Four. Five. Six. Continue. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax a moment. relax so this movement maybe for some of you it's new but don't worry so you only need to watch the videos before there uh, I'm explaining this movement already but for the ones that are already starting to practice this movement more often still at the moment like I told you in the beginning we are still like just is soft but we can always use these exercises to also practice at the same time softness, our ability to relax and at the same time strength and tension, our ability to tense up. So no matter what type of movement, dynamic movement it is, inside this dynamic movement, yeah, why is it called dynamic? What is the dynamic in there? Well, the dynamic in there is that transition from soft to hard and from hard back to soft and from soft back to hard and from hard back to soft. So, and this is what we want to get used to because then every time we want to move, we cannot stay stiff. But when we are in a position, for example, in this type of position, then at the end, you, you need to have tension. Because without the tension, somebody would touch you and then your body would collapse. But this is not what we want. So therefore, we practice softness and hardness. This movement we make again. Now this time, pay a little bit attention that at the end of the movement, you try to add a little bit the push. Yeah. So one, two, one, two, yeah. one, and push one push one and push one and push so and now what is also helpful is the way how you are breathing so when I am pushing, this is the moment shortly before when I exhale. But you try out for yourself and see what works the best for you. Let's go together 18 times. Left arm, grab, and one. Down, and two. Down and three, down and four, down and five, down and six, down and seven, down and eight, and down nine. And down ten and down eleven and 
down 12 and down 13 and down 14 down 15 ah 14 i forgot 16 and 17 and one more 18 Open the chest. We're opening the chest and inhale. So arms place them in front, left over right, right over left, however you feel more comfortable. And inhalation, open the chest. One. Exhale, release. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one more, nine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Straighten the palms, exhale, center, down, middle, one more time, stretch until the fingers, inhale, exhale, center, downwards, And return back to the center. Okay. Actually, we still have five minutes. And let's see. Yes. Yes, I know. Okay. Both arms uh, double fist. Double fist. Yeah, really squeeze the fists, squeeze them this time. Yeah, not too much, but also not too less. Squeeze them. Okay, while you are here with the heel slightly up, you don't need to go all the way up, but slightly up so that the heels don't touch the floor. And from here, I count first until three and we move downwards. So from here, one, two, three, and three up. One, two, three. Let's do this one again. Three, one, two, three, and one, two, three now six one two three four five and six and six up one two three four five and six and now let's go six again one two three four 
five, six, and six up. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and nine. Let's try together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And jump now off the ground, off the ground, 36, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Feet together. And closing this session. And shilly. And bow. Okay, so quick it goes and one hour is gone again. So in case uh, some of you still have time or just want to stay, um, we are having a, let's say, a five minute break. I will just go to search for a place where there's maybe not so much wind. And then in five minutes, we are going to continue with the questions and answers. And yes, this morning I was uh, sending out an email address where you can send all of your questions. And as a matter of fact, maybe next time I really need to think about what I'm doing because the complete inbox is just full. And the amount of questions you were sending me, I think we would be able to stay until tomorrow. So therefore, grab a cup of tea or of coffee and we see each other in five minutes again.